Hey, 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 it's Big Bob on Wednesday, the 12th of July, 2017. Almost time to pay the bills. Three more days, I'll have to go through and, and look at everything and, and get those bills paid. On to the bill pay. Probably be, uh, I'll have to look at that maybe on Saturday. And uh, have the big day with uh, the family on Saturday. We're going to go out to uh, all the great adventures of the, of the shopping center and uh, we'll get some Chick-fil-A and Maybe we'll have a little in and out burger. Maybe we'll go to Five Guys. <laughs> what is this, a smorgasbord show? Uh, <laughs> this is part two of the word any, any. And today we're gonna go to the Golden Corral. So if you wanna join us, come on down to the Golden Corral off the off the Corona Expressway, and uh, and I will not buy you a meal, but I will be glad to share a meal with you if you wanna buy me a meal. And I'll be buying my own meal, so. <laughs> uh, well, any, any, any. We've given all kinds of examples in the first half hour, our first 15 minutes actually. Uh, today, uh, I, I'm not able to do anything. I, I've got I've got a list of things I've got to get done. I got a, got places I have to go, people I got to see, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, you know, I've got things I must get done. Um, Our God is not just any God. Our God is a faithful, loving, merciful God. And we, as believers, we cannot just worship. We can't just take anything. Anything is not okay. Any random thought is not okay. We need to take into captivity our mind and our heart. Well, I had a dream, and my dream Great, you had a dream, you had a vision, you had a nightmare, whatever it was. I mean, that isn't God's word. We need to stick to God's word. We talked about that right the last last few minutes of the last uh, segment here about how important it really is to live according to God's word, not live according to our, our wishes and our druthers. Uh, Judah Smith, City Church, Seattle. Los Angeles, Guadalajara, go Seahawks. Uh, Judah Smith is made a very, very eloquent way. He's a hipster. He's He's got torn jeans. and I got torn jeans too, but you know what? My tears are not in the right spot. <laughs> I got a tear on the side of my leg where I caught it on a hook. That's not the same kind of a tear. They're these hipsters, they got, they got cool jeans. They're torn and they're dirty and they're cool. Me, I'm just a mess. <laughs> Hello, man. Get some, get some better clothes. What are you, a bum? Look at a homeless guy. Yeah. <laughs> but Judah makes a good point. He says that our whole civilization and societies, all the societies, are not based on, well, I just kind of do whatever I want to do, whatever I want to do, whoever I want to do it with, however I want to do it. You look nice, come over here. You, I don't like you, get out of here. I don't like you, boom. I, we can't go around just doing whatever we want to do. You know, I can't just 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 get off the freeway and jump on the wrong side of the freeway because it looks fun. That'd be fun. You ever dodgeball? Now that's called that's called being maniacal, stupid, and, and dangerous, and you're gonna kill somebody. That's not right. Well, I, I see there's a lane here. It's the side. It's on the, the side of the road. There's plenty of room there. I'm just going to travel on that. That's because I want to do it. I just, I, I just want to do it. What about the furniture? The furniture. <laughs> um, sure, there's a lane over there. And sure, nobody's in it. And sure, it, I could probably go a little faster. But it's illegal. You're not supposed to be outside that gold line. There's a motel over there. I remember when I went through my divorce many years ago, there was, uh, the kids and I had the conversation because the, uh, the old lady, the mother of my children, you know, she, she decided that she wanted to be happy. I want to be happy. She found a therapist sitting in a, in a cushy chair in some office somewhere. You deserve to be happy. You should be happy. Let's get happy. Happy, happy, happy. See, happy is not synonymous with joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. 
happy is not joy. I can have joy as they're cutting off my feet. I can have joy as I'm getting beaten up. I can have joy when I'm kicked out of the church. I can have joy when my family ignores me. I can have joy when my family is, is, is mean to me. I can have joy when my car conks out. I can have joy when the Lord gives me a burden that's too great to bear. Because it really is never too great to bear, and you know the Bible says that. So, but I can have joy. But happiness, happiness. Happiness depends upon circumstances. And that's what this therapist was saying. The therapist was saying, well, you know, if your marriage isn't making you happy, then you need to find another partner. Do I do and how I do and how I do. You know, it's the, life is not a square dance, and family is not a not a, a fun game. You know, family is commitment. Family is until death do us part. Unless there's a, if your partner is violent. If your partner has been unfaithful and refuses to submit to, to leadership, to eldership, I mean, if they just left and they, they've committed, uh, you know, they're, they're already remarried, well, you're, you're released, you know, that's it. Uh, Jesus said that, he, that God hates divorce and, and they don't really want nobody, God doesn't want any divorce at all, but he said it's allowed if there's been adultery or if there's some sort of you know, danger, obviously. Well, our society in California, I mean, land of fruit and nuts. I, I, I just have irreconcilable differences. The irreconcilable differences. No, they're not irreconcilable differences. There's nothing that Jesus can't heal. There's nothing that God can't do. God can do all things. And as I say, let, let's forget about the domestic violence. Let's forget about the adultery. Let's just talk about, there was none of that in my situation. There was no adultery. There was no domestic violence. There was just, Bob's kind of a hyper guy. Bob's kind of a, he's, he's a little off there. He's kind of annoying, you know. <laughs> and I want to be happy, happy, happy. I remember telling XY, she said, well, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. This is a deal breaker. And so pretty much whatever she said, I did it. I mean, she said we had too much furniture. The, the furniture! What is that? The furniture! I mean, so I sold furniture. I sold on Craigslist every bit of furniture that I could. Every, every, you know, I have one table for my grandmother. I have a little, I have little tiny bits of furniture left now. The very, it's not a big deal. It's like, Table is probably the biggest thing. I have our dining room table, uh, you know, that we've had for years, and that seems like it's pretty logical. You need to have a dining room table, you know. It's just a, I don't see any reason to sell that. Although I still might sell that. Who knows, you know? Uh, but I think I'll keep it for my kids, and if they want it, they can have it. So, so the ex wanted to be happy. I want to be happy. This is weird. I've seen like four unmarked police cars. Uh, black, you know, black uh, Crown Vicks, all, they're all headed that way. They're all black Crown Vicks, all headed that out of the west in the carpool lane. So, anything, so I would tell my kids, I'd say when we were going through the thick of it, when mama had moved out to the, to the condo, I want to go to the condo, I want to go to the condo, I mean, I found a uh, remote control in, in the car, you know, we had two cars in our family, because, you know, the missus and I both drove cars, and so, and, and then the missus was, was more like my son, she was not the, the neat and clean sort of person, you know, so, I would, I would clean the car out when it got so disgusting. I was like, you know, this is just not right. And then, I, you know, then, you know the, with the drinking and all, you'd say, well, don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff. M-A, my stuff. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I found a remote control. I said, well, what's this? The door is like, you know, something like, I, ha I happen to have one because I'm working on a job. I gotta have a garage door opener, like this. So, well, 
we've never had, we, as a family, we never had garage door openers. You know, the, uh, there goes the kitchen custom cabinets. Call them at 562, can't quite see it, but it's funny, he has there all the writing up there, but then the phone number is way at the bottom, you can't really read it, it's like, okay. I, I'd call you if I could read your phone number. But I told my kids, I said, well, gee, you know, if, if that's the goal in life, to be happy, if anything goes, as long as it makes you happy, well then, gee, that lady over there looks fun. I'm going to go with her. Papa, you can't do that, Papa. She's married. Oh, I don't care. I want to be happy. She's going to make me happy. I told you the story of Steve Brown. My son heard it yesterday. And Steve Brown talked about the, the pastor, loving pastor, two kids, a wife from heaven, a wife from heaven, a godly woman, a woman who truly lived the gospel. And this man, uh, you know, he, he just up and left his church, left his family. And as he was, he was walking out of the house, the uh, wife stood there on the lawn with the two children in tow and arm in arm. And she said, said John, his name's not John, but John, uh, when you come to yourself, come on home. We'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> and Steve teases that... If, if that was him, he would be the last one talking, and he'd be saying, Dear, where did you find that gun? <laughs> uh, see, anything anything doesn't go. I mean, it, 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 there's a musical about that. Anything goes. Well, that's really not, that's certainly not the truth. I, I may go for a third segment here. I've got traffic is allowing me to talk here a little bit. So you really can't do that. I mean, you know, gee, I, I'm going to be happy if I have a Hershey bar. And would you have 50, 650 or 250 or whatever the price is? No, I'm just going to get it because it's going to make me happy. And I deserve to be happy. And no one can stop me from being happy. Well, that's not right. And Judah talked about that. You cannot, society and God's, it would be a nightmare, it'd be chaos. You know, somebody comes up and, and you know, it's a hor horrendous, horrible, I wanna be on record here. Mr. Bob does not believe that molesting children or underage marriages or hurting people is, is, is acceptable. It, it's a crime. It's horrendous. Uh, the Olympic uh, physical trainer who molested all the kids. I mean, it, it's horrendous. And that's one of the reasons that's been the most heartbreaking for me to, uh, to be in this current time. Is, it's, just, it's just horrendous to... to I remember my grandmother, when I was a kid, she'd say, don't go to that restroom without your grandfather. You know, she was, even back in the 60s, she was aware that there were molesters. You know, they were gonna, he was going to get you. But what's the idea with a molester? He just says, well, you know, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all love. Love. Good feelings. Love. But, no. I don't know what I have. I have, like, a bunch of small rice pellets in my mouth. Something. Um... But no, it's totally, it's totally inappropriate. It's totally wrong. It's totally horrendous. It's, it's against the law. It's, it's a crime, and people have hate and, and, and vengeance against anybody who would hurt a child, hurt a young person, and for good reason. It's just, it's, it's horrendous. And people might say, well, you know, but when it's your child, you know, when it's your child, well, hey, there's no. There's no, well, you know, that isn't, that isn't even in the picture. It's funny how even criminals, uh, they want to protect their stuff. And they, you better not mess with their stuff. Whatever they're doing to somebody else, well, you know, makes me happy. Man, give me a little warm spot right here. Well, the thing is, is that it's not giving the warm spot to the person who comes home and their stuff's gone. So anything does not go. Let's have a conversation, shall we? Two one three seven one three eight nine five four eight nine five four green att dot net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob 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 eight nine five four. Of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo on YouTube and the way to LA today, Wednesday, July twelfth. Amen.